Eric here from Laser Scanning TV, last episode for 23. Um, I thought that everybody just uh, find something um, amazing under the Christmas tree, but I also have a few information as gift for you. And uh, if you like to be informed and what gift I have and which information this is, stay tuned. Yeah, let us start and end of the year. If I look outside on the window, I think everybody is leaving here, so going in Christmas holiday, but we just uh, have to walk one day more. And I uh, like to show, present you some of the hottest stuff. And the American Geo Week uh, conference announced uh, their game changer for 2020 uh, and products what um, to watch in for the next year. And there are 24 products. I don't know why there's 24, maybe two per month or so, I don't know. Uh, let us start with some hardware here. Uh, there is this uh, advanced navigation, Certus Evo, their mind, this is interesting. Then we have a very small GPS receiver. They are also say MSN Hoover map is interesting. Then we have another position system from Eros Gold Plus is the name. Then we have the Faro Orbis laser scanner, what is pretty new. And we have also some videos if you like to know more about this. Uh, Slim uh, scanner revolution from Faro, and there is also another player on the market. This, or maybe in the entry level application, is the, the Chinese producer FG Dynamics with the FGD Triumph P1. Just announced at the Intergeo. I don't have any uh, real data from the system. Uh, they say that can be maybe also a game changer for the next year. And then, surprise, surprise, Lidaretto, our friends from the Slovakian company from Bratislava, they have a very compact uh, mobile LiDAR system, what you can use on car or on backpack with your e-scooter or on a helicopter or on a drone. Also it's very flexible, maybe not the best for helicopter, but for drone application, very good. Then we have the Leica BLK to go Pulse, which was announced, I think, to Intergeo. And then we have this Czech company Mosaic from Prague. Uh, they have like this panorama camera system high resolution, then the new Nevis uh, VLX V. Uh, they find something in the sun and just interesting, the Phoenix LiDAR system, then the Wechsel Ultra Cam for everybody who goes in the air. Then we have the Xenomatic Xenotrack for, I think, the surface control of tracks. Uh, then we have another drone system and we have these Italian companies with the survey who have a, I think it's a software for photogrammetry and all application out from that. And then they have another one, the Airworks Automatic. Um, I'm not sure you have to read it, I don't know this. Then we have the Cinto Cloud with the Turbo Mesh functionality. And we have these, um, I think it's a Japanese company, Elysium, they developed and also an um, a software to um, transform raw point clouds to deliverables, like a little bit like direction, like Clear Edge does. Um, I think the um, original developed this for Toyota company and now they, he's selling this over some years on the market. And then we have some other software products here. Um, they follow, um, I, I know that one of these software is pretty old, the uh, Mesh. Some people use it, this software. It's not so, it's not so super powerful like other software, comp like maybe Design X or so, but it's a very good software what you pay for the price for this product. Also, also interesting to have a look for this. And I think all these companies where you see here, they will be also attending as the Geo Week show in next February in Denver Convention Center. Then we have something, I have to switch it here for you to the English website. And the German company Blickfield, of course, we are sending here from Germany. It's the only one lighter uh, solid state producer here in our country, or what is uh, it's important. Uh, they uh, reach 7.5 million euros. I think it's 8 point something US dollars to um, finance their initial grow. And what they are doing is they have the solid state uh, system, but they don't like to use it too much for automotive. I think they are more strong focused now for volume monitoring, security, crowd analysis, mobility, and drones and URS applications. Uh, we are proud that we at least have one uh, company here in Germany who works on the state-of-the-art uh, LiDAR sensors. And then there's another company, RoboSense. They are not from Germany. I maybe guess they are from China or Japanese original. They uh, also have competition systems and they will announce the new sensor on the Customer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, beginning of January. And then, 
we have for the sensors, the, the vice president Greg Hill from uh, Leica Geosystem, uh, responsible for marketing and services, he uh, giving an, an outlook where Leica thing it's uh, for surveyors interesting to watch in um, the next year. And I can tell you what is the key stuff here. And they say it's, um, diversification is for surveyors important, uh, using new technology and uh, bring them together. Um, and this technology is really laser scanning um, and then um, deform deformation monitoring uh, systems, mobile using of mobile mapping, then use of uh, artificial intelligence for processing the data. Then we have machine learning, uh, that's also important. And they see also ground penetration radar as an important uh, technology for the next years. I will, uh, interesting, I also find, you know, we are dealer for the competition from uh, Leica with um, Screening Eagle. And uh, they also announced new, very powerful antenna to the, the Geo Show. But I see there are big potential in these AI based or machine learning based um, analyzing of the results of these ground penetration radar, which is actually more freaky stuff. So not really uh, friendly for new customers. And there can be this technology, maybe a game changer for the next years. So, and then we move forward to an interesting application. I need a coffee. We have these uh, American company, Sila Instruments with um, Planetarium Division, uh, Sila Instruments is a part of the Sila Group. This is a family owned, many generation business from uh, the north of US. They are a big dealer for um, Trimble, as a many Trimble US customer will know them. And, uh, but they're also producing, um, I think original, they are coming from Germany, immigrants there in the early 19th century. And their founder was part of the size company. Uh, he works in size before. And then he set up his business there. And I think in the beginning, they make also own optics and selling these optics in the US. I think, um, and also they've been, I, I think, um, dealer for Zeiss uh, Total Station in the US. And then they moved to uh, uh, Trimble because Zeiss stopped this business. And they are uh, exclusive partner from Zeiss Planetarium in the in the US, uh, everything with planetarium in the US or in Americas is done by Sila Instruments. And I had a chance to speak with one of the Sila families about this uh, business. It's like, like it's a niche mark business, uh, but uh, there are some um, planetarium to change over the year. And there they have the problem how to say we have all the new technology and how we can change uh, use them to change new projectors and. Uh, optics in this planetarium, what is typical, a sphere shape. And they use for this their GeoSlam uh, RT scanner because they've also been GeoSlam dealer. And then they have the point cloud and they use the point cloud. And to use them easy, they use the software from our friends from PointCap software. And they use this PointCap Origin Pro, also for this time PointCap 3D Pro, but now it's Origin Pro. And also they can picking their simple points and uh, create these complex um, non-orthogonal shapes of the planetarium, use this in Revit, and then they can place their instruments and the seats and everybody can have a good look to uh, the new installation. And they can also use these um, point cap share to share this with the customer and client, maybe in the future with point cap Nebula. Yeah, I think that is a super interesting application story for Sila and also for our friends from point cap software. And then finally, we have an information from the Finnish startup company, Point scene, they use drone data, point cloud data to control and manage your construction sites. You know, uh, they were sold in last year to uh, the French company, tech company Arkans. Um, and now they uh, improved their DVG, DXF and DGN import in their software to make it the site managers, project manager easier to work with the real data from drone compared to 2D, 3D information, also um, 3D volume models you can use. We have also a video, if you're interested, you can check this out. I spoke definitely for one year with one of these uh, um, founder of the company. I think that's uh, all for now. Uh, I'm very happy that I find something for you. Don't forget, we have uh, also the best moments of laser scanning TV in 2023. Uh, we will link this, uh, watch this video too. 
and uh, to see what we all have to do to bring this here out. And yeah, uh, like every time, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share with friends. And I'm happy uh, uh, also with all the international shows now and we are able to travel. I uh, um, learn a lot of people who watch my channel personally. They come to our booth and say, yeah, we like your uh, channel. And that is for me a big motivation to uh, do more videos uh, also in the next year. And from this, I wish you um, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Lisa Skinning TV and Eric.